Got another video in a cut. I'm gonna keep this very short because it just doesn't need to be very long. Dude, holy shit, what happened to my skin, bro? I don't even know. Um, Avatar, the re-release 2022 edition. Uh, I don't believe this movie has been released since 2009. Uh, this is my first time seeing it. I clicked on it when it was on Netflix back in like 2013. I think I watched like two minutes of it and I saw the runtime and I was like, I don't want to watch this. I'm glad I didn't. It was a wonderful idea that I didn't watch it. One of the best ideas I ever had. Do not watch this movie in any capacity outside of watching the theater. If it never comes out again in theaters, which I'm sure it will at some point because it is not going to pass with Gone with the Wind. Uh, I believe it's had $2.9 billion since re-release. And I think it's still like $4 billion behind Gone with the Wind. It's not passing it up. But... I do think it'll re-release at some point in the future, just no time soon. It would be very egregious if they re-released it anytime soon. Uh, but anyway, um, this is about sales. This is about art. That movie was art. I, I, I've watched pretty much, I think, most of the massive fictional worlds uh, since 2009. I never watched Harry Potter, but that predated this one, so it's okay. But um, Game of Thrones... Almost all the major Marvel movies, some of the DC movies. Uh, it's hot as fuck. Uh, <laughs> it's really hot as fuck. Uh, and I just, I want to say, like, I, there's nothing that comes in the same world as this. Uh, it gets everything right. You know, it's rare that you get everything right with this fictional shit. Uh, especially nowadays where you kind of just throw so many colors and uh, things out there that are expensive. You just kind of hope that the sheer scope... Uh, just does the thing for the viewer but dude they didn't even they didn't even go for like like lights like the lights were well done it wasn't just some fucking rainbow sh sh fucking epilepsy fest uh the lights were well done i mean they fit the theme of whatever's being presented uh, a lot of cool hues uh not necessarily like bright orange yellow all that stuff i mean it was very it was done well every time you've seen vibrant colors. It was never just done to just impress the viewer. Uh, everything in terms of, I mean, just stuff that I can't explain because I'm not, I, I don't know film enough. I wish I knew film more to, to explain what was done well in this film. Um, early on, some of the acting, I was like, okay, this feels very of the time. I mean, it's came out 2009, I believe, December 2009. And early on, I was kind of like, this feels. Kind of some of the, the vocab and some of the mannerisms. It feels like 2009. It reminded me, the the guy Jake Sully reminded me a lot at uh, early on, like kind of a like a a uh, Jesse Pinkman did something with his life type of thing. But um, the acting once you start getting to the to the actual relevant part of the movie, I mean, it's just oh, I, I think I think everybody did a fucking fantastic job. I think people did a fantastic job that were not people. I think it was Zoe Saldana as the um, the lead uh actress here and uh zoe knocked that shot the park uh her character was fantastic i think it's fucking amazing Zoe's how donna is in like like two or three like the biggest films of all time i think she was in endgame and uh infinity war uh she was in this obviously uh yeah only thing she wasn't in was a gone to win but she was fantastic jake Sully was amazing um grace uh, Augustine, uh, real hard ass to soften this up in just the best way as you would love those characters to be. Uh, I got open fucking the window or something, bro. Holy shit. Um, even the fucking nerd. I mean, I thought he was cool. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you always have this fucking stickler that's just a fucking asshole. But I mean, everything that like felt like a trope got unraveled and kind of spun on itself as you know. It's not anything groundbreaking in the way they kind of handle character progression, but just what's groundbreaking is this fucking movie. This movie is a package. I mean, the, the language they put together, you have, like, the best of, of, like, almost every cinema, cinematic universe that we've had. Like, in terms of positioning a language and a culture, I mean, this is very obviously built off kind of... Uh, pretty much any given tribe you want that's been conquered by... Uh, a majority of people, uh, Indians or Native Americans, uh, 
most African tribes. Clearly, the inspiration was of real tribes. I mean, it wasn't like they did anything new with that. But uh, I, I think that uh, most times where something like this has been accomplished since 2009, uh, they really fail to capture just how individual the culture that's being taken over is. Like, this could and will likely be in successive Avatar movies probably not give much of a fuck about the human element. The humanity was a, uh, a coupling and a juxtaposition of kind of what these guys are uh, and what they represent, but I mean, you could just make a movie about the intricacies of these people, uh, the, the Na Navi, the Navi people, and that would be interesting in of itself. I, I think it's it's, it's really a perfect movie. I, I don't, I, I like, there's some there's some gripes you could probably have. There's some dialogue choices. I'm like, oh, okay, um, very two thousands y, but like. I don't know if 3D was needed in this movie. I don't know if it even aided this movie. Like, it's not offensive that there was 3D in this movie. But I don't know if 3D even aided the movie. I think it was wonderful in what it did without 3D. And it wasn't like... Back in the days, you had the red and blue 3D uh, glasses. Like, things popped off at you. I mean, it was subtle. Like, nothing was like... Oh my god, this is gaudy. Like, this is just 3D for the 3D. Uh, I, it's hard to even discuss 3D because 3D hasn't been like a piece of cinema for like 13, 14 years. Uh, but but it's was, it was a time where like 3D just felt like, a, like an unnecessary like thing that almost just didn't matter. Like, I, I can't think of any movie that obviously I mean, is top two movie of all time in terms of grossing. I, probably not many things I could have used 3D more. But I can't really think of anything, any other movie that, like, 3D even, 3D wouldn't be a negative that it was a part of the movie. I, I can't off the top of my head, but I, I don't remember 3D movies that well. So, this movie, 3D, it, I want to say it helped in some subtle aspects. There's definitely some things that I noticed. Like, just looking at the, um, the, the video log and seeing kind of the text, I like uh, kind of how 3D was used there. When uh, sometimes they swing around, um, like it's going from like, facing the back of the soldier or the little mechs that they had, and then it swings around the gun. It's like almost pulling off the screen. There's a couple moments like that that I appreciate it. 3D, I would say, helped in some very subtle manners, but it was not necessary to to really even uh, understand the scope of what was done with this movie. Uh, I don't really, I don't have anything to say. It was perfect, amazing. Uh, James Cameron. I'll say one more thing. The relationship chops that James Cameron has, the ability to, to depict a relationship, that motherfucker, I never teared up towards the back. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I didn't really tear up. Like, nothing came out, but, like, I was close inside. Like, internally, I was like, holy shit. A CGI giant woman and... I, that'd be a spoiler. Um, but there's just a moment towards the back end. It's like, oh, my God. Mm, wow. I don't think I did any spoilers so far in this review. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. Uh, I don't. The plot is cool. You do, you, is the plot anything groundbreaking? No. There's movies I've done this exact plot before, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> and even, I mean, even this movie, like, takes some homages for some very interesting moments in other films that precede it that are in the same lane. Uh, it's almost, I feel, not one-to-one -one with uh, A New Hope. Well, which one? Which one is the one with the... That's a new hope where they blow up the, the Death Star for the first time. But it's almost closer to, uh, which obviously comes after, but film film nine in the Star Wars universe, uh, Rise of Skywalker. There's a moment that's almost, well, that's a series of moments that are almost like that. And I just thought it was wonderful. I thought it was fantastically done. And then... I don't want to talk about that because that'd be a spoiler. I don't. I don't think that it was in the original release. I don't want to mention that, but yeah, just fantastic. Five out of five. One of the best. I mean, it was art, dude. It was. It was actual art. I don't know.